Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, who decides repo rate in India? So it is by RBI under Monetary Policy Committee. This committee decides on repo rate, reverse repo rate, bank rate, and cash reserve ratio (CRR). So that is the right answer. Now we'll start today's session. First question: Which among the following statements is are true regarding sodium hypochlorite? Statement one: It is commonly used as a bleaching agent. Statement two: It is used to treat skin wounds like cuts or scrapes. Statement three: It is not recommended to be used on human beings. Select the correct answer using the cards given below. Option A one and two only. Option B two and three only. Option C one and three only. And option D one, two, and three. So, guys, here all the statements are correct. So, our answer is option D one, two, and three. Sodium hypochlorite is commonly used as a bleaching agent and also to sanitize swimming pools. As a common bleaching agent, sodium hypochlorite is used for a variety of cleaning and disinfecting purposes. It releases chlorine, which is a disinfectant, and large quantities of chlorine can be harmful. The concentration of chemical in the solution varies according to the purpose it is meant for. A normal household bleach usually 2 to 10 percentage of sodium hypochlorite solution, and at much lower concentration, 0.25 to 0.5 percentage, this chemical is used to treat wounds like cuts or scrapes. And even weaker solution, 0.05 percentage, is sometimes used as a hand wash. It is corrosive. And is meant largely to clean hard surfaces. It is not recommended to be used on human beings. Certainly not as a spray or shower. Even 0.05 percentage solution could be harmful for the eyes. And a one percentage solution can cause damage to the skin to anyone who comes into contact with it. If it gets into the body, it can cause serious harm to lungs. And this was in news you might have seen in Uttar Pradesh. Migrant workers traveling to their home states or their belongings were sprayed with a disinfectant, apparently to sanitize them. And the chemical in the spray was sodium hypochlorite solution. So that was a controversy also. Some idiots must have done this. Anyways, uh, so that is about sodium hypochlorite. We'll now move to second question. Second question is with reference to price monitoring and resource unit. Consider the following statement. Statement one: It functions under direct control and supervision of state drug controller. Statement two: Kerala was the first state to set up a price monitoring and research unit. And statement three: It will track violation of prices of essential drugs and medical devices under drug price control order. So, which of the above statements is are correct? Option A one and three only. Option B two and three only. Option C one only. And option D one two and three. So guys, the correct answer here is it is option D one two and three. All the above statements are correct. So the issue here is pharma companies have been accused of overcharging prices of drugs in the scheduled category fixed by DPCO and those outside its ambit too. And for controlling prices of drugs, we have National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority (NPPA). It is a government regulatory agency that controls the prices of pharmaceutical drugs in India. And this price monitoring and research unit is another body constituted apart from NPPA. As a suggestion to set up PMRUs was made against the backdrop of lack of a field level link between NPPA and the state drugs controllers and state drug inspectors to monitor drug prices. So, bridge. So, to bridge this gap, PMRUs are constituted. And the state health secretary would be the chairman of the society, and the drugs controller would be its member secretary. And services offered by PMRU are mainly technical help to state drug controllers and NBPA to monitor notified prices of medicines, detect violations of provisions of DPCO, look at price compliance, and collect test samples of medicines and collect and compile market-based data of scheduled as well as non-scheduled drugs. So that are the services by. PMRU and PMRUs have been already set up by NPPA in 11 states such as Kerala, Odisha, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, Nagaland, Tripura, UP, Andhra Pradesh, and Mizoram. 
and recently the 12th one is constituted in UT of Jammu and Kashmir so that was in news we'll now move to last question for the day with reference to geo fencing consider the following statements statement 1 it is a virtual perimeter for a real world geographic area and statement 2 it is accurate up to 10 kilometers which of the above statements is are correct option a one only option b two only option c both one and two and option d neither one nor two so guys the correct answer here is this option a one only a geo fence is a virtual perimeter for a real world geographical area and a geo fence could be dynamically generated as in a radius around a point location or a geo fence can be a predefined set of boundaries such as school zones or neighborhood boundaries etc and the use of geo fence is called geo fencing for example suppose you are one who has to be sit in quarantine here your mobile will be used as a tracker and your home will be geo fenced so if you move out of this geo fence then the alert will be sent to authorities so for tracking covid-19 patients government has tested an application that triggers emails and sms alerts to an authorized government agency if a person has jumped quarantine or escaped from isolation and this geo fencing is accurate by up to 300 meter usually this is accurate in that range only not up to 10 kilometers so that is the wrong statement and guys our today's quiz question is under which act government seeks to fetch information from telecom companies to track patients using this geo fencing technology so which act is used by the government please post your answers in the comment section so that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section thank you for watching